All right, let's get right to it. So today we are going to do a tackle unboxing. I have some things that came from Tackle Warehouse. I've also got a package coming from Doomsday Tackle, but I haven't got it yet, so we're just gonna do this one today. Um, before we start off on this, I wanna give a shout out to this guy, because um, this is a freaking awesome print. Um, they basically, I've got a buddy at Cumberland Transit in Nashville, and he saved one of these prints for me. Uh, the guy's name is Four Wade Bevins, I believe. So four is in the number. Wade underscore Blevins, B-L-E-V-I-N-S. He does cool stickers and stuff too. Um, not quite as cool as my girlfriend's stickers, but uh, you know, cool stuff. So anyway, yeah, uh, just gonna give a shout out to him. Unboxing, let's get to it. So honestly, I kind of forgot what I ordered in this box. The only thing I know for sure that I'm getting is the new Shimano Stratic. And I am extremely excited about that. So, let's crack this thing open. So, a bunch of Mega Bass stuff, obviously. Got some new colors um, on the Mega Bass stuff. We will get into this here in a second. Uh, yeah, more Mega Bass haze dongs. Got a Tackle Warehouse t shirt. Pretty sweet. Tackle Warehouse sticker, of course. I think you gotta spend like five bucks and they give you a free sticker, so. Pretty cool. Um, all right, let's just start setting some of this stuff out. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Okay. Whoopsie. All right, so I didn't get anything too crazy new in this uh, shipment of stuff. What I'm really excited about is these. So this is a, like a, a goby bait basically. Um, so this is Jewel Bait Company in Midway, Arizona. So this is a Sculpey, or Sculpey, <laughs> a goby or a Sculpin bait. Um, so it's called the Sculpin Hypertail. This is a three inch watermelon gold purple color. I am extremely, extremely excited to try these out. Um, so you have a profile. It's a very like, uh, it's a flat profile looking bait. You could totally Ned rig these though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package and show you um, kind of what they look like. It's a very, it does have a little Ooh, they have a lot of salt on them. Um, so basically what you're working with here is a little sculpin bait. Ta-da! So there's a little sculpin bait, and um, basically it's got some little, it's got a little paddle tail, or a little curly tail, and um, I'm trying to get where you guys can see this thing. So essentially it's got some little fins sticking off of it. It says drop shot. Um, Drop shot, shaky head, split shot, jewel fin, nest, jig head, um, Carolina rig. So this is, I'm gonna be fishing it on a Ned rig. Um, probably like these 132nd ounce uh, blockhead Midwest finesse hooks from owner. That's, I picked up some of these. These are actually perfect size for this bait. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. There's a lot of good reviews on, on Tackle Warehouse about them. So, we've got the watermelon color. I've got, or whatever it was. Yeah, the watermelon gold purple. I picked up just watermelon seed. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. 
So I think that's actually gonna be like a smallmouth killer. These are perfect size for smallmouth. This is gonna be, you might even could use this on like a small jig trailer, I, I don't know. Um, really cool looking little baits. So yeah, we're gonna try to rig these up. See kind of how the Ned rigs fit on them. But um, yeah, so I got a few packs of those. Got a couple new colors in some Mega Bass baits. So I've got, like I said, I got some of these owner, net, owner finesse jig heads. Got a couple new Spark Shad colors. So I've got the real color, and then this is the USA Royal Gill. Okay, so this is the USA Royal Gill. It's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a grayish on the top, like a grayish greenish. And then a silver bottom, this one's kind of got like a brown top, um, and then a silver bottom as well. So two new colors that I have not used of the Spark Shad, so I'm really excited about throwing these. Um, three inch sizes, that's my favorite size in the Spark Shads. And so I also picked up some new Hazy Dong Shad colors. So this is the, let's see, the USA Disco Stain. Um, pretty cool looking color, but this is what I'm excited about. So this is the, Tennis, the Tennessee Shad color. Um, USA Tennessee Shad. This color has got essentially like a green pumpkin shad um, vibe to it. The top is a little bit more like, almost like a brownish color opposed to the green pumpkin. And then it's got like a, you know, blue, like greenish silver flake in it. Really good looking color. Um, so this is the three inch as well. So really, that's the baits that I picked up. Nothing really to it. Um, just some hooks, couple baits. But what I am most excited about is going to have to be this Shimano Stratic. So this is the new FL Stratic in the 1000 size. So I've got my CI4 out right now on the table. Um, and we're going to take a look and see kind of what the, the key differences here are. Um, I haven't even really messed around with one of these reels yet. I just bought it because it has to be good at Shimano, of course. So, I'm gonna cut this thing open. Oh man, it's like Christmas morning. Oh man, it's cool. I love opening new fish and stuff. So, let's get this sucker opened. This reel is actually gonna go on my Doomsday Tackle, um, the medium light rod that I use a lot. First impressions, it looks good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is wild. It is smooth as absolute butter. I haven't even put the reel on yet. Let's get this thing put together. So I read a review basically saying that I would probably end up switching all my CI4s out after I use one of these. And right off the bat, I could tell you that that review might be accurate. Um, so what I've basically, um, it's very limited research that I've done on this reel. I just know that it basically uses the same components as the Shimano Stella. So it's a very, very, very smooth reel. Wow. Wow. This thing is smooth as butter. Long stroke spool. I'm not even sure what that really means, y'all, and I don't really care. Um, Cause this thing is sick. So it's got the micro module two in it. Um, and so yeah. I believe this reel can hold a little bit more line. 
um, than the standard CI4. So, all right, these are the two right beside each other. Um, you can tell obviously there's some color differences. Uh, there's not there's not really a size difference at all. They are obviously both 1,000 size reels. I could tell you, I've actually put this reel through the freaking ringer. I have used this reel a lot over the last couple months, especially. But I've had this reel about a year, so obviously there's gonna be a little bit of wear on this one. But I did just get it clean by flippers, um, so right off the bat, I could tell you that. This reel, you can barely even spin it, and it goes forever. I'm barely even spinning that. Okay, this is my Stratic CI4. It stops pretty freaking quickly. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not really sure what the main, like, you know, differences are in components. It seems like they've used a lot of the higher-end materials in building this reel, and it shows so pretty excited about using this thing probably gonna take it out tomorrow and uh, test it out but uh, again this is the Stratic FL and this is the thousand series model um, or a thousand size whatever you want to say um, so I'm actually like I said I'm gonna put this on my doomsday tackle rod and I'm gonna spool it up with some K9 super braid 10 pound braid, same as this uh, CI4 here. So looking forward to trying this thing out. But uh, that's it guys. That is it for the reel. And uh, I guess that's it for the tackle review. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you like these tackle reviews. I do have some more Doomsday Tackle stuff coming. I have a shipment, I have a rod coming uh, and some baits. So I will be doing another one of these soon. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe, like, hit the notification button, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye.